This is Eagle Al, and today I will be talking about a rumor, a great rumor for the Philadelphia Eagles, that Leonard Floyd has been connected with the Eagles, but he's also connected with the Chargers, and I think he's a sack machine, and he will fit with the Eagles. But let's get straight into it. Let's talk about Leonard Floyd. Actually, before I talk about Leonard Floyd, I got to talk about that debacle I seen in Philadelphia. I'm talking about the 76ers. I'm not a 76ers fan. I'm a Lakers fan, but somewhat got love for the Sixers because I'm an Eagles fan. And what I seen, honestly, I just think Embiid need help. I mean, a lot of Sixers fans don't want to hear that, especially him being a MVP or the MVP of the league. To me, he just simply need help. He probably got to do, remember how when Anthony Davis was with New Orleans? And at some point, he just needed another guy, like a champion. And he went to L.A. with LeBron. LeBron eventually left Cleveland to go with another champion. That was Dwayne Wade. Sometimes guys need help. And James Harden is just saying it. Should they, should have they kept, or I'm not even using my words right. Yes, they should have kept Jimmy Butler. They should have kept Jimmy Butler, man. He need a dog and he needs help. And he getting a lot of not what he said in the playoffs, I mean, in the playoff conference after getting knocked out. It's true. I I believe it's true that it just can't be him and James Harden, even though James Harden, he's just too inconsistent. He show up short to me, in my opinion. But to me, he needs a dog. He needs a dog. Maybe he needs to go to Miami and learn from Jimmy Butler. Or like I said, just pair him with a champion. Maybe he got to pull the KD. A lot of people don't want to hear that, but maybe he got to pull the KD. How when KD went to the Warriors. Three straight game sevens? Losing like that? Well, for Doc Rivers, for sure. What the... Um, I think Celtics twice, and then there was the Raptors in 2019. Come on, man. The, the kid need help. Sixers ain't doing it for him. Got to keep it real. But let's talk about Leonard Floyd, man. Leonard Floyd talking what? Nine and a half, ten sacks, nine and a half. Dude is a sack machine. He benefits Leonard Floyd. I want him to be a Philadelphia Eagle because he benefits off a good line. He played with the Chicago Bears for about like four years or four seasons, if I'm not mistaken. But he just could never get it going. But when you put him on a good line and a good defense, he was a totally different player. He turned it around, like I said, last three years, over nine sacks. Imagine, just put him with the Philadelphia Eagles. Now he's playing with a Hassan Reddick. He's playing with a Fletcher Cox. He's playing with a uh, Jalen Carter, Josh Sweat. And you could just rotate him and rotate him. You got Brandon Graham there. What that mean for Derrick Barnett? He might be pushed out the door. Can't forget about my guy Nolan Smith as well. So, look, Leonard Floyd just makes our team better. To me, I always say this, it's never enough weapons for defense. Offense, yes, because it's only one football. But defense, no, it's never enough weapons, especially on the defensive line. Probably got me on corners. If we got enough corners, just stop it. But defensive line, linebackers, even safeties to me, it's never enough. It's never enough, especially with injuries. Because Derrick Barnett, he ain't it. He ain't it, man. So that's who I see. If we pull if we able to pull on um, Leonard Floyd, that's the only guy I see going. Everybody else is pretty much in. You, you probably got Marlon Talopu might be gone. If we get uh Leonard Floyd. It's going to be a lot of shakeup, but I'm telling you, he make our defensive line a lot better. And also, like I said, when he went to the Rams, he turned it up. He wasn't that good with the Bears. But when he went to the Rams with Aaron Donald and those boys, turned it up. Um, He was on uh, Super Bowl winning champs, bring that to the Philadelphia Eagles. And our defensive line is the best in the NFC. In the NFC Right now, and then you just add him. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man. And a lot of people get on me about, oh, you want this player, that player, this player. It's Howie Roseman. 
Howie Roseman always said, if there's a player out there that I believe that could add to this team, I'm going to knock and see what they want. I'm never going to regret, like, dang, I should have did, or maybe I should have called because we had that. He's always knocking on the door. So any rumor you see about defensive end, defensive line, probably even linebacker, trust me, Howie Roseman is probably definitely making them calls just to get a feel of what they want and see if it's, if it's worth it or not. Like the Patrick Queens and all that. I believe he's making those calls. Uh, Leonard Floyd, I believe he's making that call, man. But, hey, man, what do you think and how do you feel about the news, man? That's all I got today. You know, it's, it's that part of the off season is really slow to our OTAs and all that pickup. But right now it's really slow. But any news I get, you know, I'm going to report it. But this is Eagle Al, man. 